hello guys in this video we are going to discuss about the project structure of basic angular app so first of all we have this dot vs code folder so this folder basically contains the file which is storing the information related to the changes made for vs code id for example if you choose vs code settings that you want to apply to your current project with those updates and that file would be stored inside .vs code folder then second we have this node modules folder this folder basically contains every dependency installed for your project so this directory is basically created by npm in order to track the each package you install locally via npm then next we have this source folder this folder basically contain your source code of the project so if i expand this folder you can see further few more files and folders let's discuss about them so first of all we have this app folder so this app folder basically by default contain the routing and the root component of the app so whenever we will work with the app then we will discuss about that uh, routing and the root component then we have assets folder that contain your static resource files such as icons, images, fonts, etc. So these files are basically directly used by the browser. Then we have this favorite icon. So this is basically the icon displayed on the top of the browser tab. Then we have this index.html. This is the page provided by the server whenever anyone hit the URL of your website. So since it is a angular application, so this basically works with single page application type. So this is the only page provided by the server to the browser. Then we have this main.ts file. So this is basically the starting point of your app. So this basically tell that which module gonna be bootstrapped first. Next we have this style.css. So this is the CSS style file where you can define your global styles let's clasp it again and move to this editor config file so this is basically a configuration for your code editor which contains some rules for writing the code such as indent size line length cute type to be used and so on and then we have this dot git ignore file so this file basically contains the list of files and folders that the git gonna be ignoring so whenever you push your project to the repository the files and folders mentioned in the git ignore file will not be pushed to the repository next we have this angular.json so this file basically contain configuration option for your build server and some test tools that uh, CLI use basically so uh, for example like your project root directory is defined over there starting point of the app mentioned over there some styles are mentioned and so on then we have this package hyphen lock dot json and package dot json so let's talk about the package dot json first which is the very important file so this is a mandatory configuration file that contain all the required npm packages dependencies apart from that it also include the name of the app version description and other information and if we talk about this package lock json file so this file is automatically generated by npm whenever you add or delete any dependency from your package or json file so this is uh, basically you can say a configuration file that contain the current version information related to all the packages installed into your node modules folder that we have discussed over here this one so all the dependencies are gone into this so that are currently locked with this file then next we have this readme.md file so this is basically a informational file that contains some introduction of the application and then we have these three ts config ts config app json ts config spec json so ts config is basically a typescript configuration file so uh, if you talk about that uh, app.json so which 
is basically used for the information that how your application will be compiled and for this if you talk about tsconfig.spec.json so this contains the information that is used to specify that how your application gonna be tested so that's all for this video if you have doubt do comment otherwise like share and subscribe thank you